Hi girls and boys! Today we are going to use a method called watercolor resist art to make a painting of a fish. We'll talk about how this is connected to Parshas Vayechi. These are the supplies that we'll need. Watercolor paints, gouache or tempera paint will need pink, yellow, and black. We'll need a thick paintbrush, a thin one, and a very thin one. A white candle or white crayon. A cup of water and the templates printed on regular papers. One with the picture of a fish and the second with an image of water. Let's begin. Place the picture of the fish under the picture of the water. Trace the outline of the fish with the white candle or crayon. The fish should be visible enough for you to draw its outline. Are you wondering why we are using a white candle if no one can see what we're tracing? Well, soon you'll find out what we're trying to accomplish. The wax of the candle creates a space that the watercolor paint resists. This means that the paint automatically pulls away and does not go wherever the wax goes. Now watch and see it with your own eyes. Wet the big paintbrush and dip it into the blue watercolor. If you haven't already, switch the brush around a little to generate some pigment. Now paint the bottom half of the background, the part that is the water. You can add in some green and purple to create a bit more dimension. You'll start to notice that the outline of the fish is starting to show. Pretty cool, huh? Now paint the top half of the page with light blue and white watercolors. We want the colors up here to be light. At the same time, there should be enough color so that the rest of the fish outline can be seen. Next, we will paint the body of the fish pink and its tail, head, and fins yellow, though you are welcome to choose a different color scheme if you wish. In Parshas Vayechi, we learn that Yaakov blesses Yosef's two sons, Menashe and Ephraim. Part of the bracha he gives them is to multiply like fish. What special lesson could we possibly learn from fish? Imagine walking past a crystal clear river. You hear the water flowing gently through the rocks. You get a little closer to peek inside the water and you notice some tiny orange fish swimming around. Suddenly, you notice some of the fish are dead and floating on top of the water. These dead fish are being swept downstream by the current. The live fish, however, can swim against the stream. They are not influenced by the weight of the rushing water. They move upstream against the current. We can be like those fish. At every moment that we are alive, we can choose not to be swept up by our surroundings. We can choose to go against the current. For example, we may notice people around us speaking in not nice or unrefined way, but we can choose to speak in a better way that is more respectable. We can be like Menashe and Ephraim who were not influenced by their surroundings. This is how they became so special. Even though they grew up around Egyptians who worshipped idols, dressed differently than them, and acted improperly, they were not influenced by them. Menashe and Ephraim proudly kept the teachings that their father Yosef taught them, the values that Hashem wanted them to live by. We are so lucky that every moment we can choose to be like Ephraim and Menashe. Next we will paint the small fish using the color green. Once the background has dried a little, we'll paint over some of the details using tempera or gouache paint, which is thicker and more opaque than watercolor paint, so it will show up even if you paint it on top of the watercolors. First we'll paint the water splashes using white paint, fill in each little bubble and the splashes that come out from the water. The pink kind of looks like milk, doesn't it? But last I checked, there isn't any milk in the sea. Next, use the orange paint to add some detail to the fish tail, fins, and head. Hmm, what type of fish do you think this is? Maybe it's a salmon fish. That would be a possibility, except that salmon are only pink inside and are silver on the outside. Now using our pink paint, we will add some detail to the fish's body and paint some scales for it. We want our little fish to be a kosher one, which it is now because it has both fins and scales. Lastly, we will paint the fish's eye black. Here's a fun fact about fish you may or may not know, which is that its eyes never close. We are going to add a couple of short lines near the fish's eye to give it some personality. And with that, we're all done. Enjoy your special painting, and don't forget to come back next week.